Sales turnover fluctuation amps helps the user to design sales strategies based on the customer's ordering pattern by generating a sales turnover fluctuation report for the selected date range and the customers. User have also an option to generate and report above ender depreciancy percentage and also the turnover limit. So for getting end report, we need to get into end sales. Under reporting, you can see end turnover fluctuations. When I open it, under the turnover fluctuation wizard, user can select end start date, end date, depreciancy percentage, monthly turnover limit, and calculation type as taxed or untaxed and also customers and user can also enable the include uh, that is a include a draft invoice option to invo include an invoice from the draft state to the fluctuation report so let's enter that uh, available data like i have entered the start date as in uh, march 1st and i have end date added the end date and depreciation percentage as 10 monthly turnover limit maybe it's 1000 and calculation type as tax and i need to enable include invoice draft i need the draft invoice as well and if needed you can get an uh, you can select n customer from here itself i am going to leave this as a blank now let's print the report yeah the user can see a generated sales fluctuation reports for the selected customers within the date range. So from here you can see an uh, dependency, turnover limit, start date and end date. Among within the date you can see an turnover report will be generated automatically. So, so in this way we can make use of this report to get a turnover fluctuation report and also you can get an dependency percentage and a turnover limit thank you for watching